hello good morning welcome to this channel where i share luxury decor that i enjoy in my home and that helps me to relax and unwind today i have a big sierra trudon candle haul for you i have treated myself with the candles gabriel abdel kader carmelite cyrnos tadin and fear and the smaller sizes are called le petites and they are 35 euros and the classic size was 80 euros except for the holiday collection that came in this beautiful vessel here the blue and gold one, uh, it is a Saint Fear, and that one was 85 euros. The USP of this brand lies in its history and craftsmanship. I admire its ability to tell a complete story with a scent. Cire Trudon is the oldest still existing candle house in the world and was the royal candle supplier for Louis XIV. Their castle, candle vessels are made in the shape of a champagne bucket. Let's go through the candles I've hauled. So this is uh, the candle Gabriel that I've been already burning quite a bit. It has notes of leather, cashmere, candy chestnuts and top notes of birchwood and chestnut and base notes of cedarwood, musk and patchouli. For me it's smoky uh, but with a sophisticated sweetness behind it. I've been burning this candle as I said quite a bit. The cold troll is subtly present and the hot troll is also great. It's not overpowering, but very much present in the room. If you, for example, would compare it to a Bath and a Body Works candle, these ones are more subtle, but personally, I prefer it that way as I can keep it burning uh, for a longer time. And also, um, even when you have guests around, it's like on a background, but there. So it's subtle, but great. Next to it, we have the uh, Abdel Kader um, candle. Uh, it smells like Moroccan mint tea with top notes of mint, clove, apple, lemon, ginger and base notes of vanilla and a hard note of jasmine. Uh, it's one of my favorite candles of the collection uh, and it's, I also think, one of their more fresher scents. I also bought uh, the La Cloche uh, to preserve the candles in and uh, it makes for a nice presentation. In it is the candle Carmelite. Um, I fell in love with the description, you guys. Uh, the scent of ancient stone walls in the shade of cloisters and convents. This fragrance of fresh and mossy stone narrates the black and white silhouettes of nuns walking through the silence of a ritual mass. Under the light of church candles, it calls on the peace of the soul. For me, this screams uh, mystery and calmness. Uh, while smelling the candle, I can imagine myself there. Um, it smells a bit mossy, but in a good way. Um, I actually can't wait to burn it. Um, it has notes of geranium, orange, cedarwood, sandalwood. And for me, it's interesting, but balanced, mysterious. I really also love this one. Yeah. Um, then here we have the candle Cyrnos. Um, it takes me back to the south of France. All the smells you associate with that area. Uh, lemon, pine, thyme, lavender. Um, from this hall is the most feminine scent and while I normally draw, am drawn to spicy, fresh or woody scents, this is an absolute winner for me. It's really a beautiful, beautiful scent. So this is the candle Tadin. It's the only candle from the collection of Belmatier that I bought. The collection has mostly florals and I, as I mentioned before, I prefer uh, the more spicy or woody scents or fresh ones. But actually, this one is still a little bit spicy. It's beautifully done. Again, uh, it has notes of cardamom, sandalwood, and I really love it as well. And then we have this last uh, candle. It's named Fear. It's from the holiday collection. Um, it smells like incense and a Christmas tree. But even though it's a holiday candle because of the incense, I find you can uh, burn it all year round. And then I also have the cameo of the uh, Balmoral. Um, if I smell it, this one is actually, I don't know if it's because it's just a small cameo, uh, but it smells a little bit soapy to me. So it's not one of my favorites and I'm happy I didn't buy, uh, didn't buy the candle. If I have to pick favorites, uh, it's Abdel Kader, Carmelite and Cyrnos. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up um, and you would help me out so much if you would subscribe 
and I'll see you soon in my next video. Oh, oh, oh.